to Blend the Switch Live in this episode, I want to be showing you another alternative on how you can create um, AI art using Blender, um, but also another app called um, Draw Things AI Generations. So this app was originally available on iPhone and iPad, but I'm using Mac OS at the moment. And as you can see, this app is also now available for Mac OS and I'm running it on my new machine, M2. I am to Mac Mini, and it's a little bit faster now if I'm actually uh, running this app and generating AI, AI art, um, especially when we use the core ML. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really interesting uh, for you to try this. Um, yeah, with the latest update, there is actually this feature for you to load the dev map in first Z map, so this is something that you can work on. Uh, uh, like I said, using Blender. Um, previously, I've been using this add-on called Dream Texture by Carson Katri. The app is actually continuously being developed, and there's a bugs here and there, especially with the latest version 0 0.09. It still, it still have a bug. It it can work, like you can generate image. Um, but sometimes when you're using the dev and the model, some models doesn't work, etc. But anyway, I will be using Draw Things AI app for now. So what we need to do um, in Blender, if you have a 3D models and if you render this out, you want to enable uh, the Z, so the dev. You need to turn on the Z and you're going to have this dev output from the render uh, render layers composition node output and then you can use the map range and to output the the depth uh, if you look at it on the viewer node I think if I slide this yeah so you can control uh, the depth data this is actually something that uh, if you are using the iPhone and portrait mode you can have the depth but since you are doing this in 3D and you want, you can actually really uh, control the dev data that you want. And then you output the dev data. And then using this app, as you can see, this is uh, some examples. Uh, you can easily produce something like this. So it's using the dev data similar to Dream Texture add-on. Um, yeah. So the way the way this works so the app itself maybe I should explain the app a little bit if I start with a new project um, so by default it has this example prompt and there's this part for the negative prompting and this part is for the model the one that we'll be using is gonna be the dev model there are probably other variants of the model um, that that's using the depth and you can kind of uh, work it out um, I probably gonna be showing you let's say if I use this protogen photorealism I can say a photograph of dancing monkey in the jungle and I will I'll set up the image size to 512 by 512 if you are running this on M1 or M2 machine you can actually enable the core ML compute units um, yeah this if you are using 512 by 512 it's gonna do the it's gonna generate things a little bit faster let, let me try yeah as you can see it's it's blazing it's a lot faster than before usually it's gonna take around one minute maybe this this is like 10 seconds or let's say it's 30 seconds anyhow yeah it's not Google image this is an AI generating images okay and it's unlimited basically uh, it's generating using random seed um, yeah the cool stuff <laughs> Uh, let's say okay a uh, photograph of dancing monkey I can change this to dancing lizard 
for example, uh, let's see the output. Of course, we we want to use the image render that we output from Blender, so it's not just generating a random image. You can actually, of course, use Blender and just redraw this, paint it, and then do another remix. Okay, so that's uh, one thing. As you might, you might notice that it's actually using this image of the monkey and then generating variations based on that. I think it's doing that. The cool thing about this app is that if you if you are using, let's say, I use a different model, like this anime waifu. I I skip the same prompt, and I. I use the presets, image to image with seventy percent strength. What's gonna happen is gonna it's gonna be using this last image, and it will add a filter on top of it. You can also do the same thing with in painting, uh, which is yeah. Now it's more stylized. Maybe by Makoto Shinkai below Art Gem. Something like that, you know, like to trigger, to trigger the, the stylized version of this. Just this is just just a quick trick that you can try on the iPhone or the iPad. If you are running on the M1 iPad, it's gonna be a lot faster. This, yeah, supposedly. Anyway, this one, probably not the best example, but it will, it will work. Let's say I wanna start the project again start a new project and I will use the depth model this time and I will use the image of the monkey copy right click on the camera and paste okay you can load your, your photo as well but um, That's the dev model. I will copy uh, the dev uh, the dev render. I will right click and then paste it as the dev map. You're gonna have this icon now. That means this image has the dev data. Okay. Same thing like happens if you are using the iPhone or iPad and uh, enable portrait mode. Now you can actually just generate something based on this. So it's using the dev stable diffusion two. And yeah, you're gonna see something cool really soon. Um, there are other options like uh, the seed. Uh, you can enable upscaler and also to make this like more high res. There's also this uh, high resolution fix. This one is doing two step pass, small, smaller image, and then it's gonna enlarge it with a second. This is actually really cool. Okay, we have some kind of abstract render AI art, you know, based on this prom. It's a pretty random prom, I know. I'm gonna stop this. But yeah, it's like, what is this? Like a UFO of based on the three head monkey. Let's say, okay, this is the depth, an image with a depth from Blender. And we're gonna use this. We're gonna try to be creative with the prom. Maybe this is, Masterpiece sculpture of monkeys made of stones. That's not very creative, but we're gonna try anyway. And this is a lot faster and it's running on your machine. It's gonna be faster if you're using M2 or M2 Pro chip machine or like Mac Studio. I'm using Mac Mini. As you can see, okay, we have the monkey head stone. Uh, let's yeah, let's get back to this guy, and you can actually use the last image and then continue from there. But I'll try made of intricate, made of uh, nature element. 
high detail, intricate details, intricate pattern, intricate or in a maybe 4K. You can actually paste random things. For the negative prompt, you can use ugly, watermark, blurry, cartoony. Now generate 10. In the meantime, I'll try to find an inspiration. We got a lot of monkeys, but maybe cyberpunk machine. I like uh, sometimes, yeah, sci fi machine, machineries. I like that. Copy prompt. We should have some result. You yeah, see, these monkeys. The monkey is looking like monkeys because we specify the monkeys, but we don't actually need to do that. But it's still kind of cool that it maintains, it maintains the the con the contents. You know, I'm just gonna paste the crazy from generate generate based on this wooden monkey head with a shader from Sanctus it's just a wooden shaders it's very basic the lighting is also very basic and flat what's really interesting of course is the depth and the depth can try to understand the contents with the AI look at it and it can okay we're gonna we can create more details based on that yeah it's uh, now it's a little bit crazy A little bit crazier <laughs> with this cyberpunks whatever what's cool however like I say let's say you like this one and you want to add you can do some magic with this switch to uh, like uh, maybe Hassan blend uh, or protogen protogen is really cool Protogen for the realism for the model. I will just enable no sir robot. Paste in the full body cyberpunk pinup pinup monkeys near a robot. There's ugliness. Uh, what? Well, that's it's really weird. Just gonna use this prompt preset image to image. What's gonna happen is with image to image 70% it's gonna look at this image and also try to understand this prompt it's gonna convert it and kind of adding details based on that okay that's what we're getting not really a fan of it I think it's too too random try this simple simpler thing try a new sir protogen materialism okay let's get get rid of mid journey oh. portrait of robot monkey head yeah I know this should this should actually work if it doesn't work Maybe we should just keep going with the depth model. It should actually stylize this image with whatever. Yeah, I think it's a little bit broken. Maybe it's I should disable the core ML. Mm, maybe it's core core ML issues. But all this generated image have a uh, have some details already that we can just reuse cyberpunk robot no I, I need something with detail okay I just type in machine and hopefully we get something that we can use for the monkey head 
Yeah, okay. This one is a little bit more imaginary imaginative, right? Oh. Rusty, okay, rusty rusty club dark style So based on that last image, that last render by the AI, which I like, we're going to try to remix it a little bit further and let's see what we get. Okay. Something a little bit alien-ish. Could be like an emblem. Could be like a decorations. Yeah, you see, it's keep adding details on top of these creations. This one is a little bit broken. I don't know why. I don't know why shouldn't happen but yeah this is the example okay so yeah this is uh, just a quick again just a quick um, experimental stuff that you can do with blender of course it's a 3d app you can render 3d image 3d models and you get the depth now that you if you're doing a render and then using the depth it's a it's gonna be 2d image but also it has the depth data that you can use with the AI it's powerful and I I know I have shown you this before using the dream texture add-on it's cooler if you can actually pass, pass it back into the model of course uh, but uh, yeah something that we can try you know it's it's a little bit faster here using the the draw things app and you can run this while you are on the go like on the iPhone or on the iPad so you don't, you're not stuck on your machine at home okay so there you go hopefully you find it useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you